So here is our first stop on the way to the Bradford Ranch. This is if you need to take a bio break. Somebody's truck, but it's kind of cool to see somebody taking the 550 platform, putting a hauler bed on it. All the rangers are starting to arrive here. We're gonna go into Ramona Family Naturals Market. So I have a trivia question for you. What's that? So why do they call a pickup a pickup? Because uh, they didn't come built with a pickup body. You had to go down to the train station and pick it up and put it on the chassis. So that's why they call it a pickup. Was that started by Ford or is that something that all truck manufacturers back in the day kind of... Back in the day I think it was pretty much standard. Okay. I don't believe that Ford built pickup trucks. They built the chassis and then you'd go and uh, request the, the bed, the body, the bed from another manufacturer. Very cool. I see you're part of the Model T Ford Club. This San is Diego. my Model T Ford jacket. I'm driving a Model A. Perfect. We have a Model T also. I don't want that sure. It's at home. Greg, nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. The so old meets new. We are at our second stop on our way to the Bradford Ranch. Guys, I gotta admit, California is beautiful. This is just one of those really, really beautiful areas. Behind me, there's actually a spot where there was a forest fire. So I guess even though we deal with hurricanes and tornadoes and such in Texas and Florida, they have to deal with these massive fires. But it is sure a beautiful area. You can see up there where the trees have all been singed from the fire. So we are out here at the Bradford Ranch, east of San Diego, in the hills, shoot to Texans, this would be more like mountains. They have a ton of Ford Rangers set up over here for different activities, including a couple tacos. So they are giving you the opportunity to compare Ford's off-road system to Toyota's crawl control system and just kind of experience the dynamics and difference between them. This is a pretty cool setup. Let's take a quick look at this Ranger they got set up over here. So Ford has partnered with Yakima to give all sorts of different options for equipping a new Ranger with a bunch of gear that you might use if you're going to go out camping, kayaking, all sorts of different things. They look really good too when equipped with some of their gear. This is a really, really great environment for doing all sorts of driving. I'm going to hop into one of these trucks and see how well it performs off-road. So you see lots of these orange flags. They'll guide you around, but I'm going to talk you through them. Sure. Uh, down at the base, there's a right turn, and there'll be a small off-camber little climb. The rear diff lock is going to help you maintain traction up there. So I get a little bit loose to it for some reason. You had a wheel in there, that was good. Right hand turn, it's a little bit loose here, and then you're gonna churn up this hill. So there's a few little discreet steps up the hill. Stay on the throttle. Nice. Crest of the hill's blind, point truck straight, you'll get visibility in a second or two. down here a second left the only trick here is there's a hole on your side don't put a wheel in the hole and everything will be okay this section is a bit of a rutted up downhill so you can choose your line whatever you want to drive this handle it all you are not shy about speed are you oh well, i drive in cleach roads an oil field territory in south texas so if you think I should be shy about no, speed, no, no, I will no. be. It's just funny because there's a huge range of people's comfort level. So you get some people that go like half mile an hour. No, that's the thing. 
if I'm making you nervous, please let me know <laughs> no, no, too. No, 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 it's uh, fun doing that stuff. I'll let you know if we need to dial it back. So just follow this around. <clears throat> it's the hill, you make a right and then you climb a hill. Not too much to worry about on this hill. At the top, it's going to open up. You got good visibility, so you can. Uh, Punch it if you want to. At the far end is a yellow flag. You want to be slow, slow, slow with the yellow flag. Okay. You left turn here and there's a sharp gully. So you get a chance to check out the approach angle, departure angle. Left hand sweeper. Flag. There's another gully, not quite sharp. The right hander, there's going to be a small bridge. The only trick is to stay on the bridge. If somebody goes off that bridge, they shouldn't be driving the truck. <laughs> you can grab some feet if you want. We're going to stop at the base of the hill where the old sign is. guys done the trail control demo right here I have yeah. all right so there's two you can we'll do it here and you can also do the standalone Tacoma versus Ranger mm -hmm. so to turn on trail control yep you got to press and release just increment that up this hill works pretty well at four miles an hour so once you get four you can uh, let it go now foot off both pedals vehicles gonna maintain speed for you all you need to do is steer through the obstacles um, so it's gonna monitor wheel slip at all four corners deliver traction and torque wherever it needs to um, and all the customer needs to do is drive through the boulders, drive through the obstacles. And so you can use hill descent to, or the trail control mode to descend the hill as well as you are. Whenever you're ready, you can turn it off with the same button that you turned it on. While and, driving? Yep. You can do it on the fly and now you are in control. Just follow cool. the trail around. this yellow sign and then there'll be a second um, you want to be slow down these obstacles it's a bit of a blind start it uh, goes a bit to the right uh, these are discrete down steps so there'll be okay. drop-offs about a foot tall or so give you sense for how the fx4 off-road damper sure. this vehicle are managing honestly body it's control. super tight construction i like that so but we're not getting a lot of rebound, we're not getting a lot no. of bounce, we're not getting a lot of overshoot. All right, over the crest of this little hill are uh, the next obstacles, two berms. You'll see the uh, first one down the hill. It's going to be a right-hand side berm, then a left. We're going to actually stop in the center of the berm where the orange flag is. Take this mid to high, not all the way high. We've had one person drive over the top, I'd rather mm. not do it again. No. Um, so you can <laughs> stop right at the orange flag and we'll talk for a second. So on your display, holy cow, we're getting 25 degrees again. On your display is an off-road screen on the left, so real-time pitch and roll mm. angles, and the center is the real-time steering wheel angle. So sometimes, as you know, when you're off-roading, mm -hmm. you lose track of where on center is. And I've had a number of cases where it's helpful to know that I'm not on center. Okay. So you win. We cut this hill at 23. There's only a few people that hit 25, and you're one of them, second one today. And you can do the same thing on the next hill. I want to go higher, see so if I can get the split. Uh, let's not go higher. <laughs> But depending on how you drive the entry and exit, you can get a little bit more than what we cut into it. The 25 is the tallest I've seen. What's the rollover angle? <laughs> uh, more than 25, thank you. You're good. Okay. All right, so we'll come out. You can kick the rear end out around this corner if you really want to. Some people love doing that. And we'll stop at this double on our sign, and we'll set up the next obstacle. So we're going to talk about terrain management modes. You might have heard we had four. Um, so in the center of the dial is a button, TM, you press and release, Sorry. and then mm -hmm. press and release and press and release, and it steps through the four modes. Uh -huh. So let's stop in mud and rut, um, and that is going to be the mode that we'll use for the next couple obstacles. These moguls you can drive over slowly. At various places you're going to have a wheel, like a foot off the ground. At uh, certain conditions on here you can balance the truck on two wheels, so you're going to get a sense for how we manage uh, wheel end control, even when you have one or two wheels coming off the ground, smooth torque delivery all the way through, as well as frame and body stiffness. We're not getting through here like a wet noodle, nice and love the truck. 
All right, so over to your left a little bit, about 10 o'clock is the mud bath, where it's muddy. Uh, it's about a foot and a half deep pit that we've uh, put some water into. So whenever you're ready, again, on the berm, getting the throttle, staying the throttle. So this we can do in two-wheel drive. So terrain management, this, the button you can toggle on the fly. So you yeah, can put that back to that. normal. And terrain it'll put you in two-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the only trick here is don't hit a tree and don't hit a stump. Mm -hmm. And you'll be doing fine. Okay. It's a bit tight through here. Let's head up to the staging area. Just watch for the professionals. You guys can take uh, laps all day long if you want to. Um, I've been working on designing, developing, implementing trail control for about two and a half, three years now on this program. Okay. I've been working on it a long time. It's like an off-road cruise control. Sounds like you already drove the course. Yes. Um, so you got to use it probably, mm -hmm. four miles per hour, so walking up the hill. Um, let's go ahead and put it in drive and just, we'll get you to the course and uh, get you to see it again. We'll get you grounded. We're running this in four low just because the Tacoma only works in four low. I'm just gonna go right through here. This way, straight? Yeah, straight through. Okay. You saw that our truck works in four high. It yes. also works in two high, and it works up to 20 miles per hour. So okay. it's a pretty broad range of areas you could use it. I've run that entire course without ever touching the gas or brake pedal. Okay. So you just turn trail control on, change your set speed as you come upon different obstacles, and uh, it'll get you where you need to go. So it looks like the feature's on, so you're welcome to turn it off and turn it back on if you want. Top left button there, trail control off, trail control on, tells you enabled, use set button, set it to one and a half. It's a pretty comfortable speed through okay. here. Foot off the pedal and you're just gonna steer. So you'll hear a little bit of vibration. That's the ABS pump building pressure in the system to slow the vehicle down. And then as we detect these obstacles, we're just accelerating a little bit to get them over and then we're braking to try to make it feel comfortable okay. as you come down. Obviously you can only make it feel so comfortable going over big mm -hmm. obstacles like that. But we tried to design it to feel like a human was doing it. Like it's dampening it on the down. Exactly, okay. so you're accelerating just to get over it and then braking to get down so it's a really soft landing. Okay. So that was it, really small scale, obviously. Mm -hmm. You can increase your set speed if you want to go a little faster. You can step on the gas if you want to go a little faster. You can turn the feature off. And the resume and cancel functionality on the steering wheel also works, just like cruise control. So if you press uh, the resume cancel in the mm -hmm. top right, okay, it'll just make the feature go into a gray state, basically. Um, and then you can reactivate it at some point. Very cool. Let's try a taco. Yeah, awesome. All right. So we're just going to do the, the same little little track again. We'll just loop around, and when you come to the front of the cone, we'll just come to a stop over there. Okay. Turn the control, control on. You already have this one in four low? Yeah, we're already in four low, yes. You clear on the right. Four low on the Ranger is much smoother. Mm, different that, different pedal response. Yeah, yeah, different overall throttle feel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then all the off-road controls are up here. So crawl control is this one here. You push that, and you'll see on the cluster the display come up, and then the uh, knob here controls speed in five different increments. Okay. So two's the most comfortable. Three will give you a bit more yeah. toss and thing. Um, and then the same thing you just got to steer. Yeah. Typical Toyota system. <laughs> Sounds like you have an antenna under there beating the bottom <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. Ranger did a great job of quieting that down. Mm -hmm. And so once we're off, you can either just power through it, but if you do, are going to do that and you come off, it will um, be pretty intrusive, but also just switch it and then just swing back around. I 
That's Very it. cool. Thank you, man. That's our little short demonstration, no problem. Yeah. So if I had to sum up my overall impression of the new Ranger, I would have to say very, very refined. It handled the off-road course extremely well, it felt very solid, you didn't hear any creaking or any moans from stress or fatigue on any part of the truck. It went through all the different obstacles with ease, and more importantly, it does it in a way that feels solid inside. You feel like you're in a quality-built truck. Now, to be fair, I did not do a course like this in the Canyon or Colorado or even the Tacoma. We just did the crawl controlled in the Tacoma. The Ford system is significantly quieter in terms of crawl control. Um, it does make some noise, but it's very, very muted. Overall, though, the dynamics of the truck are excellent, and they impressed me more than I thought they would, to be honest with you. But I am going to be out here a little bit longer and see what else I can do in one of these trucks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.